Hey there gorgeous phoenixes and welcome to another Friday creative inspirational video free create Fridays presented to you here by me Daniela Langford of redesign your life forever and here we are encouraging you showing you inspiring you to be the best you that you can be and that certainly includes being creative and most certainly includes being good to your body so that is a whole new branch that I will be launching off on not only in the creative creative videos but also in the content that I will be sharing in the group. I have a certification as an essential oils coach as well as being a spiritual empowerment coach and that is something that I've really been wanting to bring to you here in the group. I started last week with a DIY pumpkin whipped body butter and oh my god I've still been using it y'all. It's fantastic. <laughs> um, little did I you know consciously realize at the time but the nutmeg that was in that pumpkin spice is actually a lovely gentle exfoliant so the next time that you go and take a shower after you've rubbed your body water all over yourself oh my god you are getting rid of all kinds of dead skin it's fabulous so we are going to continue on that vein and this week i'm going to be showing you how easy and amazingly quick it can be to make your own lotion bars now i'll know a lot of us ladies uh struggle to keep our skin nice and moisturized and i don't know about you but if you've looked at the back or the underneath side of any of those name brand lotions uh red flag you can't read anything on it pretty much the only thing you can read on it it says agua some of us can't even read that okay ladies <laughs> do you see what i'm saying here uh also go ahead and check your makeup is there talc in it Ooh, talc has been known for eons to cause like ovarian cancer. That's why they took it out of baby powder. We're not going to talk about that here, but I'm just saying there is some scary shit in our makeup and beauty products, ladies, and it is no coincidence. So I am so stoked and so honored to be starting to bring these DIYs to you of how to make your own beauty products because you are going to feel so much better when you are putting things on your skin that isn't poisoning you. The skin has an amazing, insanely kind of almost terrifying ability <laughs> to absorb anything we put on it. You use essential oils, that's great. You use all kinds of shea butter and coconut oil, that's great. You use stuff that kind of the zone. the zone. The fuck is that? You don't know. Your body certainly doesn't know. It doesn't know what to do with it. It's a toxin. It starts storing that shit in your liver and your kidneys. And what happens? We get sick and we wonder why. It's because we're putting all this stuff on our skin. We're brushing our teeth with it. We're putting it on our eyes, on our faces every day. And we don't know that we are toxifying ourselves, heavily toxifying ourselves. And one of the best things that you can do to take little baby steps in your journey, especially your physical health journey, is to start to make your own beauty products. And today I'm going to continue on our little series and I'm going to show you how to make these body bar, lo these body lotion bars so quick and easy. You can make them in any flavor that you want, any smell that you want. Um, you can put real herbs in them. Just across the board and this is really really where you can get creative with your own self-care and I absolutely love to share it. So let's go ahead and get started with the materials and I'm going to get you started on how to make your own lotion bars.
little pyramid I wanted to just make these little pyramids and as you saw I didn't even have to fill them up all the way and this is quite a um, fair sized object um, they are very easy to also put in some butcher paper or um, an aluminum packet or even just a ziploc bag <laughs> um, and carry them around in your purse what's great about them as you can see is I'm holding it here and it's not melting I mean it's slowly melting but it doesn't melt at room temperature so woo -woo. <laughs> it melts slowly at your body temperature. So there's a huge, much higher chance, I should say, that it's just not gonna melt sitting around in your purse, but generally, especially if your purse is with you wherever you are, which is usually in some air condition. <laughs> not gonna lie, me too. <laughs> um, but they're great for taking with you um, if you're going traveling, if you're going on an airplane, because guess what? Not liquid. <laughs> I love these little things. Um, these are great for gifts. Again, uh, so many of the things that I love to teach you and share with you and show you DIYs for are great as gifts. And something like this, um, again, it's compact, but there's a lot of power in here. There's a lot of uses out of this. And not to mention the fact that when you make someone something um, as a gift, whether it be birthday or for holiday or what have you, there is really something special energetically special about making someone a gift as opposed to going out and purchasing and you can make these very very quickly and easily honest to god it probably took me maybe 15 20 minutes start to finish by the time they actually congealed up um and because all of the ingredients are organic and natural and you can read them <laughs> and understand them the uh Magnesium oil you can make very easily and if you're interested in me doing a tutorial on how to make magnesium oil Throw that in the comments. I would be happy to do one uh, same thing with the calendula oil. I also made that myself um, Super super easy to make your own um, tinctures and extracts and all kinds of thing using flowers um, And coconut oil, which is basically all that was <laughs> So um, if you're interested in me doing tutorials about making your own kinds of oils um, Infusions and things like that Please let me know in the comments because I would be more than happy to do those kinds of tutorials I absolutely love doing them for myself. So I would love to share them with you um, again, presence, the fact that you went and made this for somebody, you know, make a whole sheet of them, you know, make two dozen of them. It doesn't matter. It's very cheap and it's very easy. I mean, you can just as easily make two dozen of these as I can make two or three and they make great gifts 
because you made them for somebody, because you can personalize them with their own scents, with their own essential oils, putting herbs in them. Um, and as I noticed that the dye, the uh, food coloring did not work super well because, well, the food coloring is uh, water soluble so much more than it is uh, oil soluble. But I know that there's got to be oil soluble uh, dyes, food coloring dyes out there that would be safe for your skin to use. So if you want to dye these, you can certainly do that. And again, using herbs will probably tint it a little bit too. But it's something that they can use. It's something that they got from you that you made. And there's something really, really very special about the fact that you made something that they can use um, and that it's not just going to be a knickknack that just sits up on the shelf and gathers dust, um, but something that is made by you again and that they can use and is healthy for them instead of going out and buying that name brand, uh, you know, skin lotion or this or that or the other. You know, it's so easy. Uh, to make lip balms for people, especially again during the the you know winter holidays, Pfft, who doesn't get trapped lips? I mean, it's like the perfect gift. It's ridiculous, <laughs> and how easy and quick it is to make up a set of these. Just throw them in a cute little uh, dime bag. Just cute <laughs> dime bag. <laughs> mm -hmm. Just throw them, uh, throw them in a cute little uh, gift bag, or you know those little organza bags or anything. They're super easy to find, especially around the holidays. It just makes an absolutely wonderful gift and a wonderful gift to yourself because oh, it smells so good. It smells like shea butter and lavender and rosemary. Oh my God, so good. I could probably have even put a little bit more of essential oils in here because they so easily evaporate. But this is the lotion bar. How easy it is. I mean, you can use it on any part of your body and you will be absorbing stuff into your skin that is healthy for your skin, that will help repair your skin but will not be making you toxic. And that is a huge, huge thing when it comes to redesigning your life, redesigning your physical health, and even redesigning your connections to higher self and your confidence and all kinds of things. Because if you're using products that are making you break out, that um, you're, you, you, know, you might be allergic to, that you don't realize that there's shit in there that you can't read that you're allergic to because you don't know that you're allergic to because you can't read it. Um, you know, that, that breaks down your confidence, you know? I mean, I know that, like there's, there's an unfair standard of beauty that women are held to um, that affects our confidence. And if our skin isn't clear, if, you know, we're not radiant and this and that and the other, or, you know, and if we have cracked hands or, you know, whatever, um, that, that knocks down on our confidence, on our physical confidence and our mental confidence. Eventually it starts to wear away at us um, and we start to not care, you know, about what we look like and this is that and the other. And that is a terrible place to be in. So if you can treat yourself with just a little bit of TLC that you made yourself, it is, will work wonders, not only on your physical body, but then it will bring your mental back into play because you're starting to look better, you're starting to feel better because you're not toxifying yourself. Your skin's getting clear because you're not toxifying yourself, but you're actually moisturizing it with some real stuff that will actually moisturize your skin. Um, and then you will have a better chance even to, to uh, work with your intuition and your higher self because you're not toxifying your vehicle. You're not toxifying your body. You're not putting up those invisible barriers between you and higher self that are actually toxins that, I mean, it has been proven. We know the fluoride is in the water that's calcifying our pineal gland. It's, you know, making it, making it hard for us to connect. We know it's a thing. Nobody talks about it. I'm gonna start talking about it because it's a real thing and I'm tired of holding those kinds of things back. So here's a little preview, but <laughs> I mean, this is all real. And I know it seems very simple to be making, you know, a, a lotion bar for yourself. And it's like, how on earth is that gonna, you know, heal my life? It's a start, ladies. It's a start. It's a start in the right direction and a very simple, easy step that you can take in the right direction. So all of my love and light, this is Daniela of Redesign Your Life Forever, showing you how to start to actually redesign your physical life by creating awesome, amazing, self-care, beautifying products that are all natural. You can read all of the ingredients and sharing that with you so that you can use that to redesign your life forever. See you all next time.